Hey guys, Target Cycle on FBB. Real quick video here just to <clears throat> make a point here and maybe get my message across to some of you guys real quickly. Um, I got three orders sitting here right now. Uh, Sam, Sam, it's, it's pretty early. I, mean, I went to bed around 3 o'clock this morning or so and I was up late last night doing a live video feed uh, and it was just to get some used drones out there. I, was gonna, I, I promised everybody I was going to sell some used drones and I'm, I'm telling you, I put drones that were like $300, $400. Uh, a seven-inch drone that I built, one of our custom ones, is down for like 150 Most of the drones were under 100 bucks. Most of them, almost all of them except two were $75 or less, I believe. Um, and, you know, um, we do this to try to help everybody out. So when I wake up this morning and Sam gives me three uh, invoices here, and I'm not going to say the names because you douchebags know who you are. Um, look, we're a small company. Like most hobby shops, we're a small company. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a business where everybody's cutthroat and everybody wants to buy from China cheap, and we try to do our best to make sure we can provide it. And sometimes we make mistakes. And on the website, I had, I had 10 free sky receivers um, that were accidentally marked at zero dollars, okay? It's, this has happened probably 10 times in the last three years uh, since I got started um, where things have been zero bucks, right? And it's just because the way the system works, we have to add the product, and then I sometimes just don't go back and put in a, and there's pretty good people out there, man, that'll actually write me and be like, hey, listen, I think you got a mistake here. Um, you're selling this VTX for zero dollars. I'm like, man, thanks a lot. I'll, I'll give you a credit of some sort and appreciate it. These guys go and buy all 10 of them. And they're all, I, they must all be buddies because they all did it within a matter of minutes. Uh, they clear me out for zero dollars. So clearly, number one, your, your, your uh, account is canceled and you've been refunded your uh, shipping because that's pretty much all you were charged. Um, was six dollars for over three hundred dollars worth of product uh, <clears throat> um, just a, a note to you guys okay and and you may have a conscience you may not you may just be one of those ass hats that runs around this country thinking you're owed something when you're not just a pathetic citizen who doesn't understand how lucky you are but at the end of the day I got three kids I got a wife and I got a lot of other people I take care of and I try to give back by giving huge deals on things okay so when you come into my store or you I mean when you walk up to the website or you maybe come into our new location, you see something's marked wrong, here's the right thing to do. Let us know what's wrong. I'll take care of you. I mean, I'll appreciate it. I'll appreciate it. My wife will appreciate it. And we'll make it up to you somehow by being a good human being with a conscience and not some freaking greedy asshole that doesn't know better and doesn't know that it's the right thing to do. Because at the end of the day, when I give you something for free by accident and I've paid good money for it, that's money that I can't put back on the table. Those are losses. And I want you to think about that when you try to rip off every single hobby shop. We talk. As we talk with other hobby shops, and we talk. You may think we're all competitors, but to be honest with you, we sit down and we all chat. It's online usually, but we'll talk about our customers sometimes and some of the ones that try to get away with things. And it's, it's embarrassing, it's shameful. When you're sitting in this country and you understand all the things that we've gone through with COVID and everything else, and businesses having to close and money being tight, and then you try to take from a family guy. You try to take from another shop owner or try to take from anybody for that matter, whether it's me or somebody else who's struggling. Fact of the matter is at the end of the day, we paid good money for this and we got family to take care of. So when you come along with your greed and try to take from us, that really pisses me off. Now I won't say your names because something tells me that obviously you know who you are and I'm not gonna have everybody else tell you what an asshole you are also. But I will tell you this, I don't want you shopping at my store anymore because I don't need any greedy assets shopping with me. And I would try, I'm gonna tell you like this too, I'm gonna let everybody else know, anybody who does uh, do business like like this, uh, I will let them know that you purchased, tried to take my stuff for free and didn't think twice about stealing from me or taking from me, all right? Guys, at the end of the day, you, you know, you, you, you represent the kind of person you are by your actions. Your actions speak louder than anything else. You may be out there telling everybody how great you are or how much you love this country or what a patriot you are. Or you may be one of those idiots that thinks that you're embarrassed to be American or doesn't think this, uh, this country has done enough for you and you sit on your ass lazy trying to take. At the end of the day, if that's the person you are, let me make this clear. Don't shop with me. Don't come to me, don't bring your shit to my store, and preferably don't go to anybody else's store for that matter, because all you're gonna do is cost us to lose money, all right? To everybody else, thanks, God bless, be safe, and make sure to spend time with your family, guys. I am glad that my wife, who is very smart at her job and brilliant at what she does, was able to catch these. Now, in the past, we've let some slip, and some people have gotten away with free stuff because maybe we were super busy, or we just didn't know how to look for it at the time. But now we do, and I, I thank my wife for doing that. Let me tell you something. You're lucky I'm doing this and not letting her get back to you guys because I promise you she's probably one ticket away from getting on a plane and giving you an ass beating for trying to steal from us, all right? I would have already said the names. Yeah, she, she would have called you out. I'm trying not to because I'm trying to be a good person about this, but at the end of the day, guys, I, I tell you like this. I sit back and I look and I think to myself, man, 
We got people to we, we got people who depend on us, right? I got three kids. Most of you got kids and families you got to, that, that depend on you. So when somebody sits there and starts to take you for a hobby that claims to be a family-based man, we're all brothers, we're all going to help each other. Bro, you're not a, you shouldn't even be in this hobby if you're that greedy. You're a pathetic piece of shit as far as I'm concerned. Now, back to what I was saying, everybody else, God bless, be safe, and make sure to spend time with your family. Watch out for asshats like these. These guys are really pathetic, and, uh, and I hope they get what's coming to them. I think karma has its way of coming around. The rest of y'all be careful, man. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.